Hey everyone, Jesse Anglin here, founder and CEO of Rapid Innovation, where we help companies deploy real world AI that doesn't just look smart, but actually acts smart. From custom built MCP servers to autonomous digital agents and scalable workforce automation, we've been at the front lines of this agentic transformation. And in this video, we're showing you how to set up your very own AI native workspace using some of the same tools and protocols we use in production systems every day. Now, here's the thing. If you've been experimenting with with agents, workflows, and LLMs, but struggling to stitch everything together in a reliable way, the Model Context Protocol, or MCP, is the missing piece you didn't know you needed. In our previous video, we broke down what MCP actually is and why it's revolutionizing AI developed. So if you haven't seen that yet, I highly recommend checking it out first because today we're going hands-on. We're walking you through how to install and configure a complete MCP tool chain using Smithery and Cursor. Before we dive into the walkthrough, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're serious about building intelligent systems with real capabilities. We post tutorials behind behind the scenes demos and deep dives into cutting edge tech like this every single week. And I promise you won't want to miss what's coming next. All right, let's get started. We'll begin by installing Context 7. Inside Smithery, just open the Context 7 module and look to the right hand panel. By default, it's set to auto. You'll want to switch that to cursor. The system will ask for integration permissions, just grant access. In seconds, Context 7 is installed. With Context 7 in place, we can now move on to one of the more powerful MCP modules, sequential thinking. This is built specifically for handling logic-based step-by-step task flows inside your agent framework. Head to GitHub and search for sequential thinking, scroll down the readme and copy the NPX command you'll find there. Then in cursor, create a new MCP. If that option doesn't appear right away. Just click the gear icon in the top right, open tools and integrations, and you'll see the button to add a new server. Paste in the command from GitHub, making sure to clean out any directory path prefixes. Once that's done, the sequential thinking module boots up and you're ready to handle dynamic multi-step automation. Next, let's connect Notion to this environment, especially useful if you're already using it for notes, task management, or product documentation. Inside Smithery, navigate to the Notion module and once again, select cursor as the install mode. This time it will ask you for an API. To retrieve it, log into Notion, head to settings, click on connections, and create a new integration. Name it, and once saved, you'll get a secret key. Copy that, head back to Smithery, paste it into the install panel, hit connect, and the integration completes inside Cursor. This unlocks the ability to retrieve or update Notion content programmatically from within your MCP workflows. After that, we'll install Desktop Commander, which gives Cursor the ability to execute low-level commands directly on your machine. Inside Smithery, open the Desktop Commander module install. Leave the install mode as auto and select Cursor when prompted grant the necessary permission, and that's all it takes. You now have local command execution layered into your MCP tool chain, enabling your agents to interface with your desktop environment natively. With that installed, we now shift to Supabase, which is incredibly useful when you want to integrate real-time or structured data into your AI flow. In Smithery, open the Supabase MCP server module and initiate the install. Choose Cursor, and it'll ask for an access token. You'll get that by logging in into your Supabase dashboard, opening your project settings and navigating to the API section. Copy the key, it's the one that's paste that key into cursor, approve the install, and in a few seconds, Supabase becomes part of your intelligent agent. Once you've added Supabase, it's time to add memory MCP server, which brings persistence and context recall into your environment. This is a major step forward because it allows agents to remember past states, previous user inputs and long running interaction. Inside Smithery, open the memory module, set it to auto, and select cursor. The system will now prompt you for an API. You'll need to visit the mem0 dashboard, create an API key, copy it, and paste it back into the installation panel. Click connect and finalize the install inside cursor. At this point, your agents now have memory crucial for any advanced task planning or long form reasoning. Now we install Magic MCP, a module that enhances your system with advanced agent behavior, abstraction handling, and even authentication logic. Open the Magic MCP module in Smithery. Install, leave it on auto, and select cursor. To proceed, you'll need an API key from the 21st dev platform. Log in, click on your profile, head to API docs and key, and copy your key from the authentication section. Once paid
pasted into Smithery and connected, you've added a powerful orchestration engine into your MCP environment. Let's now bring in browser tools, which lets your agent perform browser level actions and automations. Head over to the agent desk slash browser tools. From the install section, copy the git clone command and paste it into cursor's terminal to clone the repo. Scroll further in the repo to find the NPS command that starts the server. Paste this command in a new MCP server inside cursor, but again, clean up any extra directory pathing that may cause conflicts. When done right, you'll now be able to perform browser tasks from within your agentic workflow. Last but not least, we're going to integrate pieces, tool design to help agents capture, store, and reuse contextual snippets as needed. Head to the pieces website, find the get started section, and copy the install command listed there. Back in cursor, spin up a new MCP server, paste the command, and once again, once installed, pieces automatically connects into your environment, surfacing relevant snippets just when you need them. And that's the full walkthrough. From Context 7 to Magic MCP, and from Supabase to Pieces, you now have a complete production-ready MCP stack set up inside Cursor using Smithery. Whether you're prototyping intelligent agents, building multi-step automations, or launching real-time digital workflows, this setup is designed to get you there faster, cleaner, and with far fewer headaches. If you're looking to take this even further, Rapid Innovation can help. We specialize in building custom MCP servers, agentic AI solutions, and autonomous digital workforces tailored for your use case. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment with your questions or setups experiences. And until next time, keep building smart.